35 different countries were presenting papers. There was 170 different presentations made. Um, a lot of different research going on in different countries that hopefully we can apply in the near future or now. I liked some of the research in the lightweight SEC. Uh, if we have an, uh, customers who are demanding that type of uh, self-consolidated concrete, we'll have that available for them and be able to, uh, it's not something that we've really had a call for in the past. Um, also some of the nanotechnology, the seeding of the concrete matrix with very small particles uh, for the SEC seems to be a, an area that we're looking at. Overall, I think there was a huge focus on sustainability, reducing the carbon footprint, trying to make our uh, SEC more uh, eco-friendly. You know, there, there's nothing that they're researching that's like 10 years out, but immediately applicable, I would say that the, the, the lightweight product is, is immediately applicable. The uh, testing methods in the field, are, we, can, we can use right away, learn what we can and how to adjust it because there's a lot of levers you can pull when you're making SCC in order to make it work. And depending on the application, if you want it to flow more, if you want it to be you know, filling more, if you want it to be an architectural smooth finish, there's lots of different ways. And some of the uh, papers we're presenting on how to, uh, how to pull those proper levers with admixtures, water, mixing time, aggregates gradation, a whole bunch of different factors that you can uh, look at to make your SEC work for the customer. Right now, if they can place concrete with conventional concrete and they need a, a full crew of guys to rake the concrete, to move the concrete, to vibrate the concrete, if you can use SEC and reduce three quarters of those people, that's a huge advantage, cost savings to him. He can go on to move on to a different job and, and do more work. The more economical you make it for the contractor, the more likely he is, he is going to use it. And, if, and it, you know, he, of course, cares about the sustainability, but generally the owner or the architect or whoever will be more concerned about the sustainability than the contractor. The contractor is going to use it if it works for him, if it, uh, if it, if it uh, gives him an advantage over his competition, or if, if and in many cases, if, if it gets no callbacks, if there's no problems with it in the future, he's going to continue to use it. Generally, SCC can be used in place of regular concrete at the contractor's discretion. He doesn't, he doesn't need to have SCC specified. It's more of a uh, placement uh, advantage to the contractor. Uh, I mean, it can be spec'd uh, based on the architectural finish because the advantages are that you get a much, a really clean, crisp lines on the, on the concrete when it's finished. So anything architectural looks much better. The chances of bug holes are greatly reduced with SCC. And so there, there are advantages that we can try to promote, right, you know, you kind of work with the contractor, but also pro promote directly to the owners and architects and engineers um, for their project.